There is this superpower that all empaths have. It's called reading someone for filth. What exactly is that? So an empath can see right through people. They can see directly through a person. They can see everything that a person is insecure about. Because when a empath is in the presence of somebody else and their light is shining so bright and all of those insecurities are coming up to the surface, their ener that person's energy starts to shift. It starts to change. And they start projecting their insecurities and negativity and pain onto the, the empath. What the empath can see is the empath can literally see all of the insecurities trying to come out of them. All of the things that they dislike about themselves, they see it coming out because what they tend to do is the things that the person dislikes about themselves, they're throwing get onto the empath and it's like clearly I know this ain't you about me this is everything that you are feeling about yourself because the empath is the mirror so what it's like is that the the, per, the person is going all crazy going all off getting and they're getting disrespectful they're getting downright abusive as they're yelling at the empath but imagine if the empath wasn't there and it was just a mirror in front of them that's what it would look like they're getting angry and upset at themselves because they don't like to see their reflection and empaths can empathize with this. They, they can understand. They can be like, I can see that you're just coming from a place of hurt. So go ahead. And just, you just hurt. Just be hurt, baby. But at other times, they take that silence for weakness. They think because the empath doesn't say anything or doesn't retaliate that they're weak. Let me tell you something, baby. The empath is sparing you. They are sparing you. Do not take an empath silence for weakness because the minute we open our mouth, it's not going to be pretty. You're going to wish that we never opened up our mouth to begin with. You're going to wish that you never opened up your mouth towards the empath because this is what I'm talking about. When an empath reads somebody for filth, they don't hurt people with, with false accusations. No, they hurt people with the truth. So everything that a person is insecure about, what they are avoiding, what they are hiding, what they are not trying to face, the empath now throws it in their face and says, no, you're insecure about this. You don't like this. You feel this way about yourself. You think this, you think that. They're saying ev everything that the empath is saying is true because what the empath is doing is the empath is now saying, no, all this energy you threw on me, I'm throwing it right back, return to sender, and I'm going to make you face yourself. Because you clearly are abusing me because you don't want to face yourself and I don't want to take that. So to show you exactly the type of energy and pain that you are inflicting, let me just throw it right back at you. And let me make you face this shit. So what the empath does is they make a person face their deepest, darkest shadows when they're not ready to face it. And that's why people tend to dislike the empath and hate them. And it really, it shifts the whole energy because they viewed the empath in such a different light because they had no idea that this empath can bring this version out of them. But it's the consequence it is the consequences of their actions when a, an abuser an attacker or a narcissist they are projecting all of this energy and pain onto the empath making the empath carry the burden of their insecurities that's not fair to the empath why would you go out of your way and abuse somebody else because you are avoiding the pain within yourself that shows them that this is the consequences of your actions you cannot just go around and start being mean to people and set and abuse people and bully people and belittle people and put people down just because you don't want to deal with your own energy and the thing is, just because this empath is strong doesn't mean that they have to be your punching bag. No person, no human being on this earth. I don't care how much pain you went through. I don't care how much pain you are in. I don't care about how difficult your childhood was. Everyone's childhood was difficult at some sort. But that does not give you the green light to hurt another person. That does not give you the okay, the check mark to go be a bitch to people. No, that's not how life works. So listen, the consequences of your actions is to let you know that you can't just sit here and project all of your energy and pain onto everybody else. Because what if you do, you are now opening up the door for them to match your energy, for them to throw that same exact energy back to you. People don't always have to match your, people don't always have to rise above things. Because oftentimes when an empath has risen above things, they've gotten abused even more because they looked at that as a weakness. So sometimes what the empath exactly has to do is bring out that dark energy and match your energy to show you baby i'm not the one that you want to mess with don't fuck with me because that's the last thing you ever gonna do to me i guarantee you that 
let me tell you quick story time there was a girl that i knew and she had been picking on me for years this was one of my sorbers okay and what happened is that she would constantly say all this stuff to me, project all her insecurities onto me, and I never would say anything back to her. And the rest of my line sisters would sit there and watch this shit happen. Yeah, they were culprits too. So several times she had been abused and she had said so many things towards me and I wouldn't respond. Finally, one day she tried it again and I, I couldn't take it anymore. So what I did is everything that she was insecure about, everything about herself that she was avoiding, I said all of that to her, read her for filth. At the end of it, her feelings were hurt. She was crying and she at that point she regretted even messing with me in the first place because she had no idea that this version of me came out. It's like I'm the nicest person or the meanest person you can ever meet as an INFJ. And how whatever you get is how you treat me. And she learned a very, very valuable lesson that day to leave people alone and to stop messing with people just because you have your own issues. So what I did is I made her face everything about herself that she was avoiding to recognize that no, sis, you're the one with the problem. It was always you. It was never me. And after that, she had respected me because I wouldn't allow her to disrespect me no more.